President-elect Donald Trump showed his intention to shake up the federal government with his recent administration appointments. Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy have been selected to head a new Department on Government Efficiency, and Pete Hegseth was tapped to serve as Defense Secretary. Hegseth is an Army Reserve combat veteran who deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. He is also the Fox & Friends weekend co-host. Pete has spent his entire life as a warrior for the troops and for the country. Pete is tough, smart, and a true believer in America first, Donald Trump said in a statement. The announcement of Elon Musk to lead a government-wide effort to improve efficiency had been expected. Partnered with conservative businessman Vivek Ramaswamy, they will lead a new agency called the Department of Government Efficiency, with a mandate to conclude their work by July 4th, 2026. Donald Trump said Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy will pave the way for my administration to dismantle government bureaucracy, slash excess regulations, cut wasteful expenditures, and restructure federal agencies, essential to the Save America movement. In another key post, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem has been named to the head of Department of Homeland Security. Kristi has been very strong on border security, President-elect Trump said. She will work closely with border czar Tom Homan to secure the border and will guarantee that our American homeland is secure from our adversaries. Much of Washington was also startled when Trump named Representative Matt Gates for Attorney General and ex-Democrat Representative Tulsi Gabbard to serve as Director of National Intelligence. Matt will end weaponized government, protect our borders, dismantle criminal organizations, and restore Americans' badly shattered faith and confidence in the Justice Department. He is a champion for the Constitution and the rule of law, Donald Trump said. President-elect Trump said Representative Gates will return to the Justice Department for what he described as its true mission of fighting crime and upholding our democracy and constitution. To read more, visit WashingtonTimes.com.